Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Dude the Card Boy, and today is today we're going to review the Diva headset and Razor Mouse. I got it yesterday. I forgot to unbox it. I'm sorry. I promise you I unboxed it, but I didn't have time, so let's get right into it. So here is the mouse. It's a it's the Diva mouse. It's super nice. Um, it has a nice um, uh, st texture. It looks super cool. I love the blue um, strip. This is the first key fat, and this is like the second one. It has the Diva logo right here. If you can't tell, this is the Diva logo. I don't know if you can see that. But and there's also lights on the bottom. They seem very blinding, but they're really not. Um, I'll try to find uh, show you. They're really not blinding. And there's actually a face on the buddy and stuff. And what also makes this mouse get better is if you get a buggy. Um, the buggy is like 20 bucks and it's really nice. It's a plastic thing. But basically what you do is you put your mouse wire through this part right here. And it does. It, it has like less friction. And its head was around with it. You guys, sometimes you get your hand, your hand gets caught in a game or something. And actually, this mouse has a lot of friction. I thought because of the lights, it wouldn't have that much friction, but it does. It goes really quickly, and I could like click something really quickly. It's because like the perfect mouse for a gamer. Uh, but also, it could be because I'm using a Razer Firefly mouse uh, mouse pad. It's a very good mouse pad. I highly recommend it. So yeah, let's check out the headset now. And here's the headset for Diva. I think it's a very cool headset. When I got it, I thought it would be plastic. A lot of people said, thought I was looking at other videos today, and people said they thought well, this would be plastic, but it's not. It's just a, uh, it's just rubber. It's not like hard plastic. Because so I, I bet people would drop them and they, they, they don't want. That's the most important part. The inside is super soft and squishy. It's actually good for um. Getting a, a lot of Overwatch for in one sitting. I think it's perfect for any game you need, and I think it's a really nice headset. It also has um, it expands as well, and there's the pink here, which is also rubber. I did not notice that. And then you have the headset itself with its like design on it. I think it's by that really cool stuff. So yeah, I find this headset really awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. And comment down below what is your favorite part of this video. I'd like to hear that. So thank you guys. Bye.